Hungarian Folk Tales The Salt Princess Once upon a time there lived an old king who had three beautiful daughters. The old king wanted to find husbands for his daughters before he died, but he could not decide which daughter should receive the most beautiful of his three kingdoms. So he decided to give his most beautiful kingdom to the daughter who loved him the most. The old king asked his daughters and the eldest replied, I love you, dear father, as a dove loves good grain. What about you, child? I love you, dear father, as a hot summer day loves a cool breeze. And what about you, daughter? I love you, dear father, like people love salt. What do you mean, salt? You ungrateful child. Is this what I raised and loved you for all these years? Get out of here. Get out of my sight. His daughter tried to explain that people love salt very much indeed. She sobbed and begged, but her father shunned her from his palace. The poor princess walked and walked. She was terribly sad. She walked until she reached a vast forest. There she found a large hollow tree and she hid herself inside it. She lived by gathering delicious nuts and ripe berries from the green forest. One day, the prince from the neighbouring kingdom was out hunting when he happened to pass by. He was chasing a deer when he spotted the princess. But when she saw the prince, she hid in a hollow tree. The handsome prince soon found the tree and shouted into the hollow, Who is in there? But the princess refused to reply. Who is in there? Speak up. Speak up or I'll shoot. The terrified princess eventually appeared. She was so beautiful, but she could not stop crying. The prince was so overcome that he embraced the sad princess, sat her high on his horse and took her home to his palace. Their wedding was so grand that even the dogs ate beef broth and the young couple lived as happily as two doves. Time passed until the young king asked his bride one day, Tell me, why did your father chase you away? because I told him that I loved him like people love salt. Why is that all? Then the young king had an idea and sent a letter to the old king, inviting him to come and visit. The old king came the very next day in a golden carriage. The young king led him to his grandest chamber and sat him down at the table. His servant served soup, but it had no salt in it. And the meat had no flavour either. 
The king ate a great deal, but was still left feeling hungry. He remained silent for a while, but eventually had to speak. What kind of cook do you have, son? Who makes food with no salt? I heard you don't like salt, sire. Who told you that? Why, your daughter, of course. Then the princess appeared. The king's daughter smiled at her old father, who shed tears of joy. Father and daughter embraced, and the king gave his most beautiful kingdom to his youngest daughter. And they all lived happily ever after.